Hi everyone! Thank you for watching my videos. I will ask you if you could please like and share for me. It'll mean a lot to me. Today I'm going to teach you how to make chicken enchiladas with your own homemade enchilada sauce. Again, everything I like to do is pretty easy and inexpensive. For this, we're going to use queso fresco, which I have already broke up. We're going to use chicken breast. I'm just going to use frozen chicken breast this time to make it quick and easy. Onions, one tomato, some garlic, and you have some options for your enchilada sauce. If you don't like it very spicy, I recommend you go with chili, uh, Chile California, which are California chili pods. If you like some spice, you can go with Chile Guajillo, which is Guajillo peppers. What I like to do is use some of each. The first thing we're going to do is boil our chicken. So we're just going to add our chicken breasts. They're still frozen, that's okay. I'm going to add a half of an onion and one tomato, simply already washed and cut in to four pieces. Cover that with water. Add salt to your liking and I'm gonna cook it on high covered so while our chicken is cooking we can start preparing our enchilada sauce as I stated I use two types of peppers for my sauce and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open the peppers so I just tear the end off and clear out the seeds. When I cook, I like to have a bowl that I use for anything that I'm going to discard. So this is my bowl for that and you'll see it in my videos. So you just kind of clear out the seeds and then you're going to set them in your pot. And there are two ways to do this when you're in a hurry like I am today. I'm going to go ahead and boil them. When I have more time, then what I do is instead of boiling them, I just like to cover them with hot water and let them set and get soft. But today I drove a hay truck and worked in my garden and I am short on time, so we're going to do the fast method, which is boiling. So I'm gonna clean all these peppers and show you what we do next. So now I've cleaned my peppers and got the seeds and because we're doing the fast method we're just going to cover these with water and we're going to put it on the stove and boil on high like I said earlier normally I would just put hot water and let them soak just kind of makes the sauce look a little bit brighter red but we are in a hurry today so we are going to boil on the stove um, and really all I'm going to do is put it on the stove. As soon as the water become, comes to a full boil, we're gonna take it off. So now our peppers have come to a full boil and they are now soft. So we're going to turn off the stove and take them over to this side. I'm just going to set it on a towel and we will add them to our blender. You're going to notice that you'll, you may have missed a few seeds and that's okay. They'll come out. So just add them into our blender. So now we've placed all of our peppers into our blender. I like to push them down, just makes them blend better. And I'm going to add two cloves of garlic. And I like to put the strainer up here when I add in water. So I'm going to add the water that I boiled. 
And I use a strainer because you're going to find that some seeds fall out. So I'm going to start with about three cups of water and about a teaspoon of salt and blend it well and I will show you what it looks like in a minute. So now our sauce and our peppers have been blended well. I still like to strain it so I have a large bowl. This is the perfect size because you can dip your tortilla in the bowl when you're ready to fry it. One tip for blending, always keep your hand on the lid because if you don't, since it's hot, the lid will pop off. So, and sometimes what you have to do is just kind of move it around a little bit. What we're doing is any seeds or the little chunks of the peel get strained out this way. And now you have your homemade enchilada sauce. So now our chicken is cooked and I'm going to show you the easy way to shred chicken. So what we do we just pull it out and put it in our mixing bowl and take your mixing bowl to your mixer and gradually increase your speed. And there you have it. In just less than a minute, you have perfectly shredded chicken. I did want to make a comment about the broth that you have left from boiling your chicken. I like to save this, and when I make rice tomorrow, I will use this for flavor for my rice. So now we have all of our ingredients together, and we are ready to make our enchiladas. So the first thing we're going to do is put some oil in our frying pan. On the first go around you kind of have to add a little more oil than on the others. We're going to let our oil heat up. I usually tell if it's hot by just taking a little drop of enchilada sauce and it's not quite ready yet. When it sizzles that's when it's ready. So now our oil is hot enough. We're going to take a tortilla, dip it in our sauce, put it in our pan. We're going to let it cook on this side. Now that it is starting to bubble, We'll flip it over to the other side. I will say that the first enchilada always comes out with a little more oil than any of the others. You just have to get your pan ready. I don't know why it's like that, but that's just how it is. Now we're ready to add our ingredients. If you like onion, I like to put the onion on the bottom so it continues to cook. Add a small amount of cheese. If I was doing just cheese, I would of course add more. Small amount. My chicken. add just a touch more sauce just a touch now just roll it up and let it cook down just a little bit 
while that's cooking down, you can add another tortilla. About the time that you flip this tortilla over, you can move this enchilada to your plate. And you can continue the process. I usually do these just plate by plate, so I'm going to finish the enchilada for this person that's going to eat. This person's going to have three enchiladas, and then I'll show you how I serve my plate. So now we have our completed enchiladas. I like to add a little bit of cheese on top, and I always add sour cream to the table, and people can put the amount that they like on their plate. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're curious about how to make beans or rice, I have videos for that as well. Please like and share. Thank you.